Two developing stories tonight. Two men shot dead overnight in separate shootings, one of them in a part of town that rarely sees homicides. Tonight, police are looking for the shooter in both cases. RTV6's Mike Pelton joins us live along 91st Street on the north side with details. Mike? Well, we are near 91st and College, an area not known for violent crime, but today officers with the IMPD North District spent the day canvassing the Nora Pines apartment complex. They passed out these flyers as they try and figure out who shot and killed a 31-year-old man right there in that parking lot. Sad ending to a Sunday night. At the Nora Pines apartments, boom, 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 boom. The sounds of gunshots echoed off the apartment walls Sunday night when they ended. 31-year-old Datriel Tubbs lay dead in the parking lot. Uh, he, he's the type of guy that would do anything for anybody, really. You ask him for a favor, and he's right there to help. A friend saw part of the murder. He asked us to hide his identity. Two people left. They was wearing all black, came back around the corner. I had stopped looking out my window for maybe two, three seconds, heard about eight to ten gunshots, and looked back out and saw his body in between my next-door neighbor's cars. Police don't know the motive for the shooting and do not have any suspects, as is the case in a separate murder where 32-year-old Edward Branch was shot on Commodore Drive on the east side in what's become a violent start to July with nine murders in 11 days. There's not a lot that happens on the north side of Indianapolis. It's calm. Back on the north side, the murder is most concerning for neighbors. Homicides rarely happen here. Sunday shooting marks the first murder in the area in 2016. It's, it's, it's just a little close for comfort for me. Mike Nance moved from the east side to here on the north side, a much safer part of town, or so he thought. Yeah, we wanted to get away from the violence. You know, we thought it would be nice and quiet up here. I'm just surprised to see this happen over here in this area, in this neighborhood, compared to what's going on out in the streets like the east side or west side, you know. Metro police need your help to solve these murders. As of this afternoon, police have not made any arrests in either of these cases. Now, as for the shooting here on the north side, that's why officers were out here handing out flyers this afternoon. Of course, you can always call Crime Stoppers with information. That number is 262 TIPS. For now, we're live on the north side. Mike Pelton, RTV6.